Yeah. yeah. Today, we have a very special car. This is a 1992 Ford Laser TX3 all-wheel drive turbo. One of only 226 cars ever made. This car is Ford's take on the iconic 90s all-wheel drive rally cars. It has long been overshadowed by the JDM Legends, the Mitsubishi Lancer, Evolution, the Subaru WRX, as well as even the Toyota Celica GT4. However, this car truly deserves so much more recognition. Sharing many similarities with the Japanese counterpart, the Mazda 323 GTX, this car was redesigned and built here in Australia. It was also the last laser ever to be produced here and I can't wait to experience this car. If you want to see more epic car reviews and some more automotive related content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to the channel and let's get straight into it. <laughs> at 3,000 RPM from a very little 1.8 litre Mazda BPT turbocharged engine. At the time of release, this vehicle would reach 0 to 100 in 8 seconds flat. It was properly fast. It was considered the hot hatch for Ford way back in the 90s. All of this is great information and all to know. However, this TX3 is far from factory and has received a plethora of upgrades to take the performance up to the next level. The full engine was built by the guys over at Protec and they have done a magnificent job at piecing this car together. Listen to that noise. It just pulls and surges you forward. Wow. This vehicle produces 220 kilowatts of power on all four wheels on 20 pounds of boost. It's received a custom intercooler, a fully custom exhaust. It's got an aftermarket BF10 turbocharger, an aftermarket Microtech ECU, including cams. You name it, this car has got it. <laughs> <laughs> driving this car out here all the driving inputs are so precise and exactly what you want in a driver's car it's got no power steering no ABS it's got disc brakes the clutch is a cushion clutch but it's still right at home here and the five speed is magnificent to run through the gears the car weighs 1180 kilos and it is a pocket rocket It's so much fun to get on it because the power is so accessible. It doesn't feel like it's hard to get and you gotta wait through that lag to assess that power. It's right there on tab at 3000 RPM and it builds right through the entire rev van. And the noises that it makes from this BPT engine are so cool. It's got that JDM Tudor vibe and it does that because it's got a Japanese engine. Most of this car is actually built by Mazda. 
back in the day, Ford owned a stake of Mazda and so a lot of the parts were actually reused and redesigned here in Australia to make it suit Australian standards. And this vehicle really looks like the 323 GTX, having the same Japanese engine, you know it's just going to be a hoot to drive. From the outside, this car doesn't really show much in terms of its performance. However, once you start to peel back the skin of this car, you see the all-wheel drive magic that lies underneath this car. And it is a serious piece of kit. Listen to that noise! The car just keeps pulling and pulling! <laughs> You know, it's crazy. This car is the successor to the Ford Escort. And it's also the predecessor for the Focus RS that we now have. It's amazing to see the different lines and heritage and generations of the Ford Pot Hatchback. Back in 1991, this car cemented its legacy in Australian history when it competed in the Bathurst 12-hour race. And after 239 laps, it came second outright, just behind the Supra Turbo. When you're in the TX3, you really get this nostalgic vibe about it. It's such a clean example with only 52,000 Ks on the clock. Everything is just super retro and cool. But still, you've got some kind of luxuries about it that really make it stand out. You've got power windows, air conditioning, you've got really comfy seats. It really harks back to the 90s. A lot of people would say, you know, I remember this car from when I was a kid. My uncle had it, my auntie drove it as a daily driver. This car came in so many different variations, but this was the top of the line vehicle. To pick up one today, you're looking at spending close to 30 to $40,000 and even more so as every day goes by these cars are just getting rarer and rarer it's funny these cars came all over the world in the US you got the Ford Escort which only came in front wheel drive and you never got the turbocharged engines and it's a real shame because they never got to see what this car was truly capable of it's even crazy to think that these engines were put into the Mazda MX-5 Miatas obviously a lot of things have been upgraded from the Miata engine but it's cool to see how the Mazda ecosystem works but for this vehicle to have performance on the modern day car in a 28 year vehicle like this that just blows me away it's a weapon really <laughs> one more time yeah <laughs> this car just goes and goes Oh my lord! The owner has even run an 11 second quarter mile on this car. It's amazing. It's a testament to what the owner has done. He's had this car running for over 15 years in this level of modification and has never missed a beat. John, you've truly built a masterpiece of a car. I've had such a blast driving this car out here today. Thank you so much for letting me drive your pride and joy. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, tell me what you like about the Ford Laser TX3 all-wheel drive turbo. And as well as that, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now. Yeah.